Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, this is another installment of BoatingTechTalk.com. So we've got a question from a fellow boater named Roy. And Roy asks a question that actually we should have answered a lot sooner because it's a common one that I get at the office uh, from fellow boaters. Roy asks, Jeff, I, I wonder if you can in simple terms, uh, what is the difference between a Wi-Fi booster or Wi-Fi extender and a cell booster? I have found that the Wi-Fi the Mariners isn't great and would like to be more self-sufficient for data. What do you recommend? God, Roy, wow, love it. So first of all, in another life, I used to be a network engineer. This is prior to me buying a boat and realizing that I wanted my boat to be reliable. And so here I am today talking about boating, but I do have a background as a network engineer. So this question is rather easy for me. So there's two modes of actually interconnecting rather affordably to connectivity when we're on our boats. One is to basically have Wi-Fi, and the other one is to have a cell booster. So let's first do with Wi-Fi. So it is possible, and certainly there's a lot of marinas that offer Wi-Fi as a service. Like when we go to a coffee shop or a business and they complimentary or hotel, give us the, uh, the occasion or the opportunity of having a Wi-Fi. Now the challenge is when we're on our boats, our boat might not be close to the marina office or wherever the antenna is, and we're far, far away and the signal is weak. So a Wi-Fi extender or Wi-Fi booster uh, would allow you to connect to a Wi-Fi signal that because you're so far away from it is pretty weak and the data throughput is limited. Now, caveat, having a great Wi-Fi connection is not synonymous with actually having great internet. You can actually probably have Wi-Fi on the dark side of the moon and there could be a satellite base station over there that would have no internet and it would not matter. Because at the end of the day, Wi-Fi is about local connectivity and not about internet connectivity. They're often interchanged, but they're not the same. So you could have your marina operator have great Wi-Fi locally in the marina. You've got a Wi-Fi extender and you're getting the Wi-Fi. But since too many people are on the Wi-Fi at the same time and trying to use the bandwidth to go to the internet, which is called the gateway, effectively your bandwidth and what you're able to do is very limited. And unfortunately, as we know, anything that is free is over too often than not abused. So that's the other factor. Is some people will see something free and they're gonna be downloading movies, they're gonna be downloading and it affects everyone's experience for internet connectivity. So that's the limitation with a Wi-Fi extender, is it's not only a means to get to a local data point, but also get to the internet. So it's not guaranteed that you're gonna have a great internet service with a Wi-Fi extender. A cell booster, on the other hand, goes from obviously either a cell phone or whatever it is, an endpoint that is connected to a cellular network. And a lot of times what happens is that those uh, service, those towers or cell towers are actually connected and we don't have enough cell signal to have a good, reliable data connection. Now, a cell booster does not invent cell signal, and I have that, you know, here in British Columbia in the Pacific Northwest of North America, we have high mountains, fjords, we call them inlets, but there's huge mountains everywhere that block cell signal. If you don't have a cell signal to begin with, your cell booster won't work, right? It needs something to create something. So cell boosters are a way to augment or increase the data or the cell signal that you get because obviously our phones are not as strong as a cell booster. But remember, it's not going to give you a cell connection if you don't have one to begin with. So it does work, but you have to have something. And uh, that's the difference between a cell booster and a Wi-Fi extender. By the way, if you're wondering, yes, I have both because they provide different purposes. Sometimes when I'm in a marina, I might do a Wi-Fi extender to connect to the local access point that the marina is offering or a business. And sometimes I'm remote in a place where I have okay cell coverage, but I want it to be better. And that's when I turn on my cell booster. So that was a great question, Roy, and thanks for asking. Thanks for watching this video. Glad to donate my time to make these videos and to share our passion for marine electrical. Help us keep this channel ad-free by donating on PayPal, link below, or also potentially buying some of our merchandise on our store. We hear we've got a hoodie, we've got a hat, and we also have some tumblers and other gear. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.